Counter Punch Boxing Talk. What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> All right, check it out, guys. Check it out, check it out, check it out. We had an action-packed weekend of boxing. Not really, but, you know, we had a little bit of boxing on, okay? I think everyone is just basically waiting on the, the Thurman uh, Garcia fight, right? I mean, that's all I'm waiting on, you know, but this is just kind of an appetizer to the, to the main event, right? Uh, Adrian Broner, why are people... Look, I have a heated debate going on in my group, and we'll hop over there in a minute. Uh, <laughs> that's why people are tagging me right now. Uh, but anyway, so look, I got to be honest. I didn't watch the Broner, Adrian Broner, uh, Adrian Granados fight. I, I just didn't. I cannot stand Adrian Broner. You know, I mean, I think he's a wasted talent. He, he has the talent, the potential, you know, all the attributes it takes to be a great boxer, an elite boxer. He really could. But, you know, the guy is just a clown, man. He just can't get it together. And, um, you know, therefore, I, I, I don't support him by watching his fights. I mean, kind of like Mayweather. I, I didn't watch, uh, you know, Mayweather's last, I think, well, Pacquiao, of course, I watched the Pacquiao fight, but I, I didn't watch Andre Berto or the Marcos Maidana rematch. I mean, I just, you know, when I when I when I don't want to support a fighter, I, I don't. And I I think you guys should do the same thing. You know, I mean, don't support them by watching them, right? I mean, you know, give your attention, give your time, give your click, give your money, give whatever it is you give to a boxer that deserves that attention okay so that's why you know uh, i just i i don't i don't watch them but i got in my group today and i put up a post and i said hey you know you guys know i don't watch broner fights so what happened you know and it's a mixed reaction and uh and i, and I went and i watched like a, a couple of highlight reels or whatever but um, I mean, from what I understand, it was a lackluster fight. I had one guy tell me he enjoyed it. He, you know, he wanted a rematch and he would watch a rematch. But uh, most people said it was a boring, boring fight. They edged it to Broner. Um, you know, Granado, uh, Adrian Granados, he started out strong, but kind of faded. And then Broner took over. Now, I remember, but it was a 10 round. Uh, it was just 10 rounds. OK, at welterweight now. I don't know. I think uh, Broner is better suited at light welterweight, but, you know, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens after this. I mean, you know, look, it's a win. A win is a win. You know, so now does this put him in the talks for a top 10, a top? No, I, I don't think it does. But but because he is Adrian Broner and he's got Al Heyman and Mayweather and all these people in his corner, he'll probably get a big, you know, a bigger fight you know, kind of like a mid-level uh, matchup in his next fight. At least that's what I think. Uh, we talked, we kind of threw around the idea, maybe Amir Khan, you know, maybe maybe a Bradley, you know, something like that. I don't know. I could see that happening. But uh, maybe, a, you know, a Chris Algieri if they really want to kind of cherry pick. But uh, but I think Chris is a little too tall, a little too lanky for him and, and, and would give him a lot of problems. But, you know, so, yeah, most guys had it even. A lot of them had it a draw. Uh, from what I saw and, and from just my collective knowledge, it sounds like Broner did just enough to, to, to get the W. Now, what I don't like, and this is, you know, again, why I don't watch him, because, you know, they he, he hyped it up. You know, he's talking about how disciplined he is and, you know, how, you know, he's 100% focused on boxing and he's back and, you know, and he's going to, you know, prove it in the Adrian Granados fight, right? So that's that's why I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that, you know, you, you hype it up like that. And I understand, you know, you got to sell tickets, but uh, I don't know. I mean, don't lie to people just, just to sell tickets, right? I mean, be honest with them, you know? I, I don't know. It just seems like, you know, this guy cannot get his act together, Um but, you know, I've, like I said, I had a couple people tell me that they, they you know, they, they thought that he looked good and, you know, they were happy with his performance. So, but like I said, the other 90% not so happy. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's really, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't even want to comment further on it because again, I mean, I just, I don't even like making a video about Adrian Broner because, uh, you know, until he proves that, you know, he's worth my time as a boxing fan, you know, as, as someone that pays out money, you know, for cable networks that he fights on or, or TV say, you know, because I mean, you got to realize you, the boxing fan, you support these guy guys in one way or another. 
I mean, even watching YouTube videos, like, you know, you just, just, that's getting his name out there. That's publicity. I mean, you know, you support it one way or another. So, uh, like I said, I didn't even want to make a video about it, but, you know, I did. So now look, we got Mr. Roy Jones and Bobby Gunn right here. Okay, now this is for that Cruiserweight title. I believe it was a WBF, okay? Now, Jones, what is he, like 48 right now, I think? I don't know. I'm, I'm about to look. I think he's like 48 years old. But apparently he was kind of toying with Gunn. Uh, he knew he had him in the seventh round. He heard him, you know, did that that typical. They said it looked like the the old Roy Jones, you know, landed that three-piece, that pop, 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 landed that, landed that three-piece <laughs> and uh, had him hurt. And then took him out in the eighth round TKO. But even Gunn said, he goes, look, I, I know he was taking it easy on me. In the interview right after the fight, said he was taking it easy on me. And it kind of continues that debate about Roy Jones. I mean, should he retire or should he continue on? He needs to retire is what I think. I mean, you know, like I said, he's 40. Let's see, how old is Jones? 48 right there he's born in 1969 i mean you know come on it's just and, and now look now he has won i think like nine out of his last 10 fights so uh here yeah it's like in one two three four five six and there's like three more below so i believe yeah he's won like nine out of ten so it's kind of hard to argue that he should retire but remember uh, he got in, in 2015 by that guy there, uh, in, in, Enzo, whatever, Macarellini, whatever the hell his name is. He got uh, that devastating knockout. I mean, that was kind of scary. You know, well, not kind of, it was scary. So, yeah, here's Broner. Now, look, like I said, since that Sean Porter fight, uh, you know, the John Molina Jr., which, by the way, I think that was totally fixed. I think John Molina Jr. took a dive. I mean, he was, like, smiling in that fight and just pitter-pattering. You know, go back and watch it. It was almost—it was almost like he was like going through the motions, like uh huh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I mean, I really think I—I I honestly believe the Molina Broner fight was staged I, or fixed. I really, really do. So, you know, since that fight, what did he do? You know, he's had the the legal troubles with the bowling alley robbing people, the DUIs, guys in and out of jail, legal problems. You know, not in the gym, not taking things serious. And then now, you know, he's the new Adrian Broner. He's going to take it serious, and you know, he gets in the ring and he looks worse than the old adrian broner so you know like i said i don't support the guy you know uh fighting khabib right there you know ashley thea Payne and then uh adrian granados i mean all of those i mean first of all i mean who are these guys i mean you gotta you gotta think about that who the hell are these guys i mean sure you know the boxing heads and no one but the i mean these are just guys put in front of broner to look good and he can't even look good with the guys that's put in front of him to look good you know what i mean so that that's what these are these are like showcase fights i mean this is pretty much you know it's it's almost like a like a show like a play like they're put in front of him to look good and he and he, he can't even do that so and like I said, this is a 10-rounder. I mean, what if it was a 12-rounder? You know, I don't think either guy would have made it because uh, according to everyone I've talked to, Granados pretty much gassed out. But, you know, I give Granados a ton of credit. He got in there and he tried, you know. So uh, he was in shape and he did what he had to do. You know, I just think he's just, you know, like a B-level fighter, right? I mean, you can't expect much out of a B-level guy. And that's that's... You know, you kind of expect more out of Broner, especially all, all that, that nonsense he was talking about, you know, how ready he was and how great he felt. And he's saying, you know, oh, well, you know, I'm prepared 100 percent, you know, mentally, physically, I'm sharp, I'm ready, you know, all that. It's just like, you know, I'm tired of hearing that out of Broner and I want to see it. OK. And, uh, you know, and not only that, he needs to stop acting like that guy right there. You know, I, I can't even listen to Adrian Broner talk because he's like. Um, uh, 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 um, you know, all that, oh my God, that shit drives me crazy. Like, seriously, like I want to like break my phone or my computer. I, I literally want to take my laptop and throw it out the damn window when I hear him talk. I cannot stand it. He tries to talk like Mayweather and it drives me totally insane. So, you know, I think Broner, man, he, look, he needs to like find himself, become his own man, you know, either either take boxing seriously or hang it up. But Adrian Broner will tell you, well, hey, they keep buying my tickets. You know, they want my autograph. Well, of course they do. I mean, you know, because, you know, he, he is at a, at, a, at a certain level. He, he's a star, right? A boxing star, especially, you know, in Cincinnati, Ohio, his hometown. So, of course, people are going to are going to want, you know, or are going to act that way around him. 
but uh, he needs to become a boxing star is, is what he needs to do. I mean, if he wants to be an entertainer, then, you know, get out there and get, you know, or go to Hollywood or, you know, start making music, do something. I mean, he's a boxer, not an entertainer. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to watch it. You know, I, I it, it was close. OK, a lot of guys said it could have been a draw, could have went either way. Uh, not many people said, though, not many people said it, uh, it could have went to uh, Adrian Granados. And by the way, I talked to uh, David Diaz, you know, the guy that fought Manny Pacquiao right before the fight. And he was uh, he was there supporting Granados. So just just to kind of, you know, be in his corner and show his support. So uh, if you're listening, shout out David Diaz. Shout out to the group Counterpunch Boxing. Oh, yeah. I said we go over here and take a peek at the group real quick. So let's head over there and check it out. On, let's see. Oh, shit. I guess I got to pull it up. But, uh, yeah, these guys are arguing in the group. And, uh. But yeah, I put up a post and said, you know, hey, uh, you know, what happened in the fight, that kind of thing. And I got, you know, I got a pretty good response. So hang on, let's see, let's see, let's see. Comments, go back. Oh, damn. Hang on. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, and look, I never miss a boxing match. I really don't. But I just, I just, I couldn't do it. So I said, what's up, group? I missed the Broner fight. Can anyone fill me in? Look, I got 80 comments already. I don't know what they're talking about right there. So, uh, hang on. I'll read you a couple comments and I'll shut it down. That's a lot of comments, man. We got 80. Okay. I predicted Broner wins by robbery. Highly controversial decision. That was my prediction. This guy said, yep. Now... He said Broner was just lazy in the earlier rounds. That's why Granados looks like he is ahead of the game, but later on faded off. Good win for Broner, but it could have been a draw. You see, this guy says you predicted perfectly, right? Granados outlanded, pressured Broner six, seven rounds out of ten. Clearly, I think everyone knew the outcome before the fight even started, including Granados, meaning he was getting robbed. Okay, this guy here had it 4-3-3 three, and three for Broner, you know, edged it to Broner. Uh, this guy here, no robbery at all, good decision. You know, so then we just, you can pause this and read it if you want, but we just keep talking back and forth, and then we talk about uh, Roy Jones, and then here I scored it a draw, but I think Broner edged it out. Uh, but this 10-round fight is bullshit. This should have been a 12-rounder. Overall, we saw... Overall, what we saw is a B-level fight. You see, so I'm not getting good, good feedback here. You know, this, this, she says, uh, don't worry, you didn't miss anything, you know, talking to me. Uh, yes, it was a 10-rounder welterweight, blah, 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 blah. And then we're kind of throwing around ideas, you know, who should Broner fight next? And then uh, we kind of came up with maybe a Miracon, you know, a, a Bradley. I'd like to see a Bradley because, you know, the reason I kind of mentioned Bradley was because Broner's always talking about getting that Pacquiao fight. And, you know, let's, well, let's, let's, let's test out that triangle theory. Let's see how you look up against Bradley. You know, the guy Manny Pacquiao has beat three times. I mean, well, you know, you take that robbery away in 2012, which was avenged twice. Uh, Pacquiao, you know, beat him three times, technically, but on paper, it's 2-1. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, and, and yeah, by the way, here is our group. You know, we got about 4,000 members. It's a good group on Facebook. Uh, you know, lots of good stuff in here. Let's see what we got. Uh, damn, he posted a lot of stuff. Right here, this guy says, AB, I don't dislike you, bro, but I'm going to be real after tonight. There is not one guy in the top 10 at welterweight you would beat. Forget Manny and Brooke. Vargas and Khan will beat you too. I'm sorry, man. I kind of like you, but it is what it is, you know? Oh, here's uh, Lamont Peterson. Shout out Lamont Peterson. Apparently, he, uh, he, got the, he got the W, got the win. This guy, bullshit-ass robbery, but not surprised. You know, that was during the fight last night. Uh, here we go. Did Peterson get those shorts <laughs> from John Stockton? You know, so, uh, yeah, it, it's a good group. I mean, we, you know, we don't miss a thing in here. We got breaking news. We got it all. We don't miss a beat. 
Uh, Virgil Hunter Jacobs can shock Golovkin. Has to be mentally strong. Jacobs, you're going to get knocked the hell out. All right, guys. Counterpunch boxing.